guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be showing you the do's and don'ts of when applying products to your hair and these are the results that I am left with my hair is still drying right now it's in the process I may diffuse it in a little bit but I'm not gonna show it in this video but I am gonna give you tips on how to properly distribute the products throughout your hair and hopefully this can help you vamp up your wash and go and if you want to see what I do and how I apply the products to my hair then just keep on watching the video so this right here is air dried hair I know it looks a hot mess but don't worry we are gonna fix it and what I'm basically just gonna do is split my hair down the middle and I'm gonna show you guys one way that I see how people apply their products and then they say that their hair is super frizzy and I'll explain to you why well, I washed my hair yesterday I actually slept through it wrapped up in a towel and then I just let it out and this is what my hair looks like air dried so I'm just gonna clip this side away and we're gonna be working on this side for now and this is the don't these are the things that you wanna avoid when doing your hair and applying your product I'm gonna be starting off with the Shashaya Moisture Jamaica Black Castor Oil leave-in conditioner and this is what I see people do on their hair and I'm just like what are you doing so they let their hair air dry and then they go right in their leave-in conditioner they take you know a reason amount and then they just apply it like this on dry hair I've noticed when you apply products to your hair while it's dry, you're going to be overusing products to kind of bring your hair down, bring back in the moisture, bring back in the shine and definition. You're just adding product on top of product on top of product. And because you're not sectioning your hair, the part that's going to have most of the product is this top part right here because this part is the one that is, you know, soaking up all the product and this part inside is going to be super dry because you're not putting any product in the inside and then that's going to cause your hair to look extremely funny because this part of your hair is going to be way down while this part of your hair is going to be frizzy so those are just things you want to avoid when applying your products you don't want to just put it all and split it into one side you want to make sure you rake the products through your hair properly that being said, instead of applying your products on wet hair, you want to make sure, I'm going to clip this side away so you guys can see what to do instead. You want to make sure that your hair is one, fully detangled and you're separating it into small sections so that it's easy to work with. That way you're able to see what needs more product and what has enough product and you won't overuse the product. If your hair has dry, that's perfectly fine. You can always use a spray bottle and just re-wet that section of hair. I just start spraying my hair just to bring back that moisture into my hair that it's missing. And I'm just gonna go in with my brush to make sure that there's no tangles in my hair. So that's what I'm doing right now and you want to always detangle from the bottom up to make sure you're not breaking any hair as you detangle. So now that my hair is saturated with water, it's not dripping but it's not super damp either. It has a nice amount of water in it. Now I can go in with my product which is the leave-in conditioner and apply as needed. Sometimes some sections require more product than others and others don't require as much product because you don't want it to be weighed down. As soon as I'm done with my leave-in conditioner I'm gonna go in with my styler and today I'm gonna be using the curl enhancing smoothie and I'm gonna be layering that product right on top of the conditioner. I like using the curl enhancing smoothie enhancing smoothie. I like using the curl enhancing smoothie because it's very thick and especially now for the winter time you want to use products that are going to be really moisturizing and hydrating to your hair. The same method I use for the leave-in conditioner, I'm just going to rake that throughout my hair and make sure that every single strand is saturated with product. You don't have to do this step but I feel like using a brush just helps clump everything together, just helps spread all the product properly and it makes sure that every single strand has product. So I'm going in with my brush and then what I'm gonna do is just rake it and then I'm just gonna shake it just to reactivate those curls that we just brushed out and then I'm gonna do the same exact thing throughout my entire head so if you see this definition here 
versus this hot mess that we got going on over here. And I may have been a little bit dramatic, you know, maybe people don't wait until their hair is 100% dry. But even when your hair is just slightly damp, it's going to leave a lot of frizz in your hair because not every part of your hair is going to be saturated with product. And even distribution for a good wash and go is what you need. What you shouldn't do is right after you apply this, you got some sections in here that are dry and I see people, you know, they spray it. Oh my God, what are you doing? They go in with their styler. They're like, okay, we can apply this amount of product. We could just put that all throughout the hair. Oh my God, what are you doing? Scrunch and scrunch and scrunch. And then they let the hair air dry. Oh my God, what are you doing? These are the steps that I avoid and I don't do. Personally, I like a more defined and uniformed wash and go versus a big frizzy mess that you take on wash day and styling. It's what's gonna elongate your wash and go routine throughout the week. So a proper wash day routine is gonna save you a headache throughout the week so you don't have to refresh as much. If you follow the steps that I'm doing, on my right side, which is what you should do on a wash day routine, not this, then you will have a successful wash day and a wash week. And it looks dry, it doesn't even look like I washed my hair. This side is gonna be weighed down and then we're gonna do the rest of this side so you can see the difference. So I'm gonna bring back that little section that I had here, I'm gonna put this towards the back and then I'm going to, again, spray my hair with water. Going with my leave-in conditioner and I like this leave-in conditioner because it's super runny. I'm just applying some of my styler into that section right over here. Make sure you get the product to the root as well. A lot of you ask me, why is it that my root is frizzy? And that's probably because you're not applying enough product to your roots. Your roots also need some love just as much as your ends. So make sure that you're bringing your product all the way to the roots. I'm gonna go ahead and just pass my brush into smaller sections. The smaller the section you do, the less you have to separate once it's dry. The bigger the section, the more the more you have to separate when it's dry, if that makes any sense. So if you gather a lot of hair and you pass the brush through it, then you're clumping more curls together versus if you do them by smaller sections, you don't clump as many curls together and your separation process would be a little bit quicker. So if you see here, this is a bigger section that I'm doing, but the curls are gonna clump more because there's more hair there. So when it's time to separate, I'm gonna have a bunch of curls clumped together that I need to separate for more volume. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my hair. We're gonna compare the sides. All right guys, now I've applied all the products to the right side of my face and depending on the products that you use, sometimes you will have this white like, I don't know what to call it, like residue or whatever you wanna call it. But that's honestly totally fine. When we scrunch our hair, that's gonna go away. I am just using a regular cotton t-shirt I'm just gonna open it and just scrunch out any excess product or any excess water in my hair. And this is just gonna help me with the drying process so I won't take 10 years to dry my hair, whether that's diffusing or air drying. I'm just gently scrunching up the hair, very gently, just to remove you know, any excess. And you don't wanna over scrunch, because then that can cause frizz but you do want your hair to stay with the right amount of product. So I'm gonna stop there. You can visibly see the difference on the side that I applied the products on properly versus the side that I kinda of just rushed into and I was hoping I would get a good wash day out of this routine. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this side and fix it up and make it look beautiful like this side and then I'll be right back with you guys. All right guys, these are my final results. My hair is now fully saturated in products as you can see, I hope this video was helpful to at least one of you and if it was, give me a thumbs up so I can know. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what tip is going to change up your wash and go routine. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe for more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!